I'm going to talk about how you can add your order online page or your website to Yelp so that you can get online orders after a customer finds your Yelp page. So let's go to Yelp and see what we have here. So as you know, Yelp has many different types of restaurants here. I'm going to click restaurants and I will get a list of restaurants. So typically what happens is customers browse websites such as Yelp to find local businesses or they search for your business through Yelp. And I'm going to go ahead and just randomly choose a business here. I have Thai Corner here. When I choose Thai Corner, the Thai Corner Yelp page shows up. And here's Thai Corner. You'll notice that it has pictures at the top. It has the business name here. And it'll say either claimed or unclaimed. So one thing you have to check is make sure you have claimed your business first or else it'll be more challenging to change stuff. So first claim it. Once you've claimed it, log in. So here's why it's important to log in. The reason you want to log in is because you want to change this thing right here. Yours may already have a URL or a website name here. And if it goes to your website, that's very good. But if it goes to a competitor's website or if it goes somewhere that it doesn't really do anything, then you want to change that because you want to make this a button where people can order from. Because as you know, there's Grubhub, DoorDash, there's all these other competing companies that is trying to take is trying to give you online orders but what they end up doing is they can charge you extra commission or more money to do the same thing that smart online order can do so what you want to do is you want to take some of that traffic and divert it through your clover or through smart online orders so it goes to the clover so let's go ahead and um, log into a Yelp page and let's change the link I'm going to go ahead and add the URL to this website here because we want to change this link here to an updated link. So right now it says unclaimed. So go ahead, log in. Once you log in, uh, try to go in here and claim this. It says this business on uh, this business has not yet been claimed by owner or representative. I'm gonna go ahead, press the button, claim this business and then follow the steps to claim the business. And then put your password in there. And then as you try to claim it, follow the instructions here, and then go ahead and claim the business. Once you choose your verification option, go ahead and select it. In this case, I'm gonna do a call. This option, they will call your business. Remember. Remember, uh, the Yelp, the way they verify a business is the business number. So if your business does not accept text, text messages, don't choose this option. You can also do email. But in this case, I'm going to do uh, telephone. And then uh, when you get the phone call, just put the code in, okay? Okay, great. I have confirmed my business with Yelp um, and they may give you an offer or something, um, you know, so let's go ahead and just go to the You can either accept their offer or read through it, but my point in this video is to show you how to add the website URL. Now that I have logged into the business and claimed it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me scroll this down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look through my Yelp page, make sure the address is correct, the phone number is correct, just make sure everything looks good, just view your stats and all that. And then um, what you want to do is you want to um, just kind of look through here. Uh, if you need to add your logo, uh, has a call to action. Um, so it will try to sell your advertisement, um, but you can see all of the different customizations here. And then you have the business information, which is the one we want to actually go to. Um, so right now we have the address, the phone number, the website. The one we want to change is this one. So let's go ahead and change this one. Press website. And then we have all the uh, information here. I'm going to go ahead and put the, new, put the correct site. So that way when they click on it, they will be taken right to my... Um, 
order online page. I'm going to leave everything the way it is, um, but feel free to go through that and fix anything. Go to the bottom and press save changes. And it's asking a question while you're submitting the change. Uh, go ahead and answer that question. And then I wrote a message there. Uh, you can write your own message. And then give it, um, it may change right away or it may, it may take time for them to confirm it. But that's how you do it. Now when people find you on Yelp, they'll go here and press this button and order online. Okay, that's how you change your Yelp page. Feel free to do the same to Facebook or any other social media sites you have. Just add, just change the link to it. Okay.